Uh, let's go over engine RPM uh, very quickly. Engine RPM is a little bit hard to debug in the sense that you have to keep looking for uh, the bytes that change uh, when the engine is turned on. Uh, now you can see here, uh, I keyed on, so a bunch of things changed, but then it will settle down. Uh, these signals are changing even if the engine is off, so these cannot be engine RPM. Now when I start the engine, few more signals uh, turn up and you can see these signals are changing this is changing these bytes are changing uh, now let's turn the engine off and see if uh, any of them goes to zero so okay so IDC 9 again uh, these two bytes go to zero when engine is off but, but none of these other bytes really go to zero so let's try it again i start now it settles down to say d and some number and then when i switch off the engine it slowly goes to zero so again this might be uh could be engine rpm if you see again it's c9 uh which is a better match i may have more confidence on it because uh, the accelerator pedal is there, the brake is there, and so why not the engine RPM, right? Uh, all the engine related messages could be in a single CAN frame uh, for this particular vehicle. Uh, now, how to decode that is uh, a second task. So I start the engine, it's going to say a value D and something. Now, I can take a freeze frame and then uh, Get this value but because the rpm changes quite often these values are not stable these values keep on changing um, i then full throttle and then this value goes to 2d and some value and then back to zero To decode any signal which is changing uh, constantly uh, we uh, sense it's extreme values so uh, in case of engine rpm uh, i will see what the idle rpm is uh, which i can see on the dashboard i can uh, measure it as around 650 rpm and then i'll fully throttle uh, and see where the rpm uh, settles down uh, on full throttle so i'm throttling and the rpm settles down to some 3000 rpm uh, so i keep these two values in mind and then see what these numbers look like so this is now 2e and some number say 2e and a5 and then this is 0b and some number uh, it need not be accurate but you get a sense of uh, what the range of rpms is so 0b and some number uh, is a lower range which could be around 650 rpm and uh, 2e and some number would be the higher range uh, which could be around 3000 rpm